What's it different to the Chakma baboon that we find at Juma? They are a lot more brazen when it comes down to walking onto these open plains for food. Usually baboons like the cover of trees. These baboons have no fear of walking out into the open whatsoever. And I think it's because they live in much larger family groups, double, triple the size of a Chakma baboon. They're the same size, they look a bit fluffier. They're the same weight as a Chakma baboon. For that matter, they're the same weight as a yellow baboon as well. Now, yellow baboons are funny, whereas Chakma baboons, let's call them the norm. Yellow baboons are these rangy, tall baboons. And olive baboons are these stocky, fluffy things that you can see now. Very different from one another, although very, very similar in physiology and behavior. Look at that swagger. <laughs> Gremlins general, do olive baboons eat olives? Um, I suppose given the chance, Gremlins general, they would absolutely eat olives. Um, however, there are, apart from the wild olive tree here, um, there are no olives per se. They will eat fruit though from almost anything. The, the reference to olive comes from that slightly greenish tinge to their coat. We'll see if I can show it to you in the sun. It's most evident uh, in the sunshine. We'll see if we can get close to this baboon here. So they've got a slight sort of greenish tinge to their coat. While you're looking at that, I'm quickly just going to stand up and fix our raincoat, which has come unstuck. These things happen, you know. I'll be with you in a second. Excuse the shaking on the car. <laughs> you can see those two bald patches on their bum. That is from sitting. They eat a lot of grass shoots and they do have bare bums to start with. It's not like they've sat all their hair off or rubbed it off or that there's got something wrong with them. But you can just see those two calloused patches on their butt cheeks. I think they're quite funny. <laughs> Lynn, you wanted to know if these baboons are more aggressive than the Chakma baboons or the Juma baboons? Yes, they are. These baboons, there's, no, they, 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 there's a lot of recorded evidence of them actually attacking um, a lion and leopard. Chakma baboon do attack lion, uh, to do attack leopard all the time. Excuse me, I'm getting mixed up. But the olive baboon will attack li even lion. And, and that is why I think they're so brazen and by coming out onto these open, open fields. I don't think that they're scared of much, to be honest with you. Now, what's happening to this grooming pair? It's got not much to do with picking off fleas and a lot to do with aloe grooming. Um, aloe grooming is a, it's a social bonding exercise. So what they're doing is they're grooming one another, but it's not really grooming. It's more just a I'm okay, you're okay response. Now, M. Ruth, you've asked me, would these baboons jump into the car? Um, it's common that baboons in areas uh, where people stop that have food on their cars, do jump into the cars. Um, they're doing it not because of anything else except for the fact that they are making the most out of an opportunity of free food. And some baboons can even get quite dangerous and bite people uh, looking for food. But these baboons do not get fed from the cars. The cars all have their food, if anything, all stowed away quite tight in cooler boxes and things like that. And these baboons don't get to learn that there's food in these cars. So for the most part, they just avoid the cars. It's about as close as we can get to them or that they get to us.